Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. Don't forget to go to our website at HockeyUs.com today, become a member, sign up. It takes three simple steps. And uh, you know, once you become a member, you're able to uh, join the Hockey Us community and, and uh, let us know what you'd like to see viewed here and uh, some of the products that you'd like to see on, on our channel. And uh, you know, help us write the reviews and what you think of the different products that you see here at HockeyUs.com. Uh, one of the things that we started here at HockeyUs.com is different reviews. People have written in and asked us uh, on different things on how to size skates, how to replace uh, blades on a uh, two-piece stick, and uh, that's what we're going to do for you today. We're going to show you the uh, simple process of um, replacing a replacement blade on a two-piece stick. Um, this is a Bauer 195 shaft, Bauer 195 blade. Uh, simple thing that you do, put this away for one second, I'm going to grab the heat gun over here, and this is basically what we do. Uh, this is the uh, senior version. And uh, what I like to do, and this is the correct way that I've, that I've seen it, which works the best without it really coming loose, is uh, you would take the, the stick. I'm not going to turn the heat gun on only because uh, uh, trying to shoot this video and do this at the same time, uh, you know, I basically don't want to burn myself. But what you want to do is you want to take the stick, kind of insert it in here. And what I like to do is I'll show you real fast. I like to heat the hosel up on the uh, blade itself. And that's one of the reasons right there why I don't do that because I'm tucking this underneath my arm and I want to burn myself. But this is, again is the hosel on a stick. And what I like to do is I like to make it just a slow passing movement all the way around on all four sides of the stick. That's what I like to do, make a passing motion here. I like to heat this area up along with the glued end of the uh, replacement blade to get the glue soft too. And the reason why I like to do that is because as you're heating the shaft up, going up and down, turning, up and down, turning, up and down turning, making movement. You don't want to keep the heat in one spot because that's going to bubble it, it's going to burn it, and that's going to ruin the integrity of the, uh, of the stick. And uh, most of these companies will not warrant it if you do burn it and it breaks in that spot. So again, what I like to do is I like to keep the uh, movement up and down. And what that does is that kind of opens up the fibers on the stick and gets the stick to kind of open up a little bit <clears throat> to accept the replacement blade. And what that does is that, um, that allows the blade then to go uh, straight in all the way down into the shaft. Now, I know some of you guys out there have experienced this problem. It's the reason why I'm going to address this for you today. Um, with some of the sticks and blades um, and, and different makes and models, just because you have a 195 um, shaft and a 190 blade doesn't necessarily mean sometimes that they match up. Or if you have a Sherwood shaft, Bauer blade, vice versa, sometimes they don't match up. And you'll notice when you put it in, you get a when you put this, the blade in, you get a little wiggling here and there. So what you could do is you just grab a simple craft wood glue stick and uh, you heat that up. I do that again with the, uh, I could do it with a heat gun or even just a little blow torch and, um, and let that uh, melt all over the, the, um, the hosel on, his, on the replacement blade here and just get that all glued up. And then I repeat that simple process of heating the shaft and inserting it again on a blade. Now, if that doesn't work, another trick that I'll show you, let's hold this for me. What I like to do is, I like to get a little inch and a half inch and a half tape is sometimes depending on the size of the hosel itself I get this inch and a half tape I rip it and cut it and then uh, what I'll do is um, I'll take the replacement blade and I'll actually do it with the, the bigger version is what I'll show you here I like to get the replacement blade on the fat part and I wrap around I wrap around from front to back making sure it's nice and tight rip that off of there and as you can see that acts like a little shim Bauer when they uh, they had a taper fit system out they actually had little um, harpoon is what they called a harpoon tape that they use so this is just a simple fix and then what you would do is you get your glue stick you get your glue stick and add more glue onto the hosel area here and then just again repeat that simple process that I said of heating the shaft itself and then heating the glue on the stick and then that actually acts like a nice shim on the inside it makes everything nice and tight and, and anchored into the stick so again, that's a simple process of replacing a, a blade on a uh, composite stick or even aluminum stick uh, in any of those processes. Uh, again, thank you for joining us here at HockeyS.com. Let us know what you'd like to see featured here at HockeyS.com today. Thank you.